Hey guys, welcome back to How To's Reviews. Today I have the Baby Bjorn Travel Crib Light for review. Um, this is amazing. I'm like so excited about this product and I really genuinely love it. So I'm really excited to tell you about it. So this travel crib, travel crib is so light and easy. It's 13 pounds, so it's really, really, really light to carry through an airport. You could easily check it. It's, the actual packaging is like sturdy enough that you could check it on a plane, no problem. And this case is really handy. So um, the case is 19 inches by 24 inches by six inches deep. So not huge um, and not very awkward. You know, it has these two tote handles that you can easily pick up. And I think it's a really, good way to um, carry it. So I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up. It is literally like a couple seconds. It doesn't take very long at all. Um, I have had only the standard pack and plays um, for my three kids and this beats them all. No, I mean, no questions asked. So there's a zipper here. It zips kind of halfway down. And then you just pull them out and here is when you look at it, the mattress is on the outside, um, just for, tr for carrying it. And then this is the actual frame. So pull out the frame and it's just like a little sandwich, you know? So you just open it up and then the legs, you just pull up and they click, 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 click. And that's it. You turn it over. So here is the crib all set up. Sold separately, you can buy the crib sheets. Um, I would maybe suggest getting a couple of them in case you are traveling where there's not somewhere you can do laundry or anything, but this just fits right down after you put the crib sheet on and right in there. So Baby Bjorn is suggesting that this is for newborns up to three years old. Um, when it's assembled, it is 32 inches by 44 inches by 24 inches. Um, so it's 24 inches deep and 33 inches high. So, or 32 inches high rather. So you are, you could totally get a three year old not to be able to, um, climb out of it. And this is mesh. So that's like extremely hard for babies to climb. So I will definitely use this with my son up till, um, three years old, probably. It might be a little bit small as far as length. Um, for that age, but certainly up till two, two and a half would be great. It is made of this nice soft um, fabric and I think the mesh is really nice and breathable and not scary for babies. I don't, and because it's such a light color, um, I think it doesn't feel so confined like a small travel crib. So that's really a benefit for, um, for me. So this is a metal frame and then the poles just come off of it and then the poles are connected to the mesh with a small strap. So that's how they got it to be such this like lightweight um, design. So let me show you how to tear it down now. So you just take out the mattress. You are, there are these red tabs on the sides um, of the mattress and you're supposed to pull them through the bottom. There is, I'll show you now. You're supposed to pull them through the bottom where there's a little hole right here and then attach them to this red piece, um, the red to red, so that the mattress doesn't come up or anything in the middle of the night, baby doesn't kind of roll into the mattress or anything. It's just an extra safety precaution, which is definitely recommended um, to not skip that step. So pulling this down, there's directions right on here. So if you forget, it's pretty easy. Um, you simply pull up on the each leg I don't really have very much strength. <laughs> so it's, it's not, you just pull up. See, there's an arrow here. Pull up. I'd like, I did want to mention that this cover does zip off. So if you have vomit or milk spills or whatever it is, um, this can come off and be cleaned. So that's good. Um, so there you, it's all pulled out. And then I, Put this back in here first. To create that little casing. 
um, to give it some body and then stick the frame back in here. Zip it on up. I think that this travel crib is a baby must have. Um, it retails for about $300. I've seen them on Amazon for $235, $200, um, but it is on the pricier end of a travel crib. Um, you can easily get a pack and play for 50 bucks on sale. So you are going to get what you pay for in this case though. The, if you travel a lot, if you take road trips, if you fly, um, if you need one to stay at somebody's house, um, this would be a great option. The crib sheets did also cost about um, $30 on Amazon. Um, so that's you know, something to consider if you wanna get more than one, but um, I think it's worth it. I know a lot of the pack and plays have um, the feature where the bassinet feature or the changing table feature, I think skip it and go for this because especially if you actually are going to use it as a travel crib. Um, if you just need a portable crib that you'll never lug around and you just want it for when they're newborns, go for that. But um, traveling, flying, driving, this is something to get. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them in the comments below. This review helped you in your search for a travel crib. I would love it if you would hit subscribe and come back for more how-tos and reviews. Bye.